Hey you skellywags, today we're having a look at these two from the Bucks team. The first lot of the new iteration of the Bucks team, Bob and Jack. We find out whether or not it was worth revamping the designs to lead us into a new Acid Rain world era. Shut up and sit down. So we'll get right into it with Bob, a very popular character uh, with the original head sculpts being very the most well known of Acid Rain. This one looking quite different to what we've got before. He's supposed to be, I believe, older and almost ready to take over from President Alderman. With this new design, we have this part of his helmet covering his ears and the back of his head. Speaking of which, his head moves like normal with acid rain on that ball joint. You can go down about that much. And up like that, kind of into his hoodie. Little bit of that tiltage. Arm goes around. Up about there. Twist. Bend. A little bit of twist there. And at the wrist turns around with a little wave. On the right it turns two with a down and up just a little. His new arm is very impressive. He's got a bit there for a grenade. These other little details. More space here. His torso armor is in three parts. So it gives him range of movement at the top. Remove that. You can see. It's got this other bit just around the belly. Which allows him to have a bit of movement still. So if you take that off, it's just like your normal buck underneath. New holster and thigh arm a bit there. The bottom legs are different and knees, they're brand new, although he's using the old buck. These are brand new to the buck, so we haven't seen these bits before. That works just the same. Jean-Claude! Alright, Bob Balls. Leg move up, but it's hindered by the belt, slightly. Goes back. Ooh. Twist at both thighs. Bend at the knee. Really good. Twist. Pivot. Up, hindered a bit. Down also. So yeah, everything we've come to expect from Acid Rain. It's a brand new look. Really nice armor pieces. It looks great. The little details and colors. And you can still move the way you want your action figures to be able to move. It comes with these two grenades, which we have seen in Acid Rain before. I can be held in the hands, either one, like that. Can store it in this one if you like, but this one's a bit bigger than the other two at the back, I think. So we can put it in back here. Nice and snug. Bit fidget finicky. Same for over here. There you go. And these three are new. I've not seen these before. And they're also grenades of some sort. You can hold this. Opening up that. Oh. oh. Damn it. So yeah, this will have to squeeze in in the middle there. Or a bit bigger than your normal grenades, so it may stretch out the hand a bit. 
This knife is quite nice. Fits in his hand like so. So he's ready to play good old game of knifey spoony. Nowhere to store the knife. From what I can see, which is a bit disappointing. This gun, his uh, sidearm. I like it. Drill barrel and all. This handle is a bit thicker than your norm. Take a look at this one. This is more your standard handle from Acid Rain. You see there, is a bit thicker. And this will stretch out his hand just a bit, but fits perfectly. But when you put in the other rifle in there, it will kind of be a little bit loose. The way the gun comes, it means you can't actually fit it into the holster right away, which is, yeah, again, disappointing. You can remove this bit. But yeah, nowhere to put that. And you've got this. This you can pop in here with a little bit of effort. There you go. Fits in snugly. This is a brand new modular rifle for Acid Rain. I'm assuming there'll be other guns from the other Bucks team that you might be able to switch out parts with. You go in his hand here. Again, it's a bit loose now. And that bit to hold is a bit thicker. So if you really want to stretch out his hand, you feel free to do so, but I'll... I'd much rather just have it kind of kind of faking it like that. Because it kind of works. You don't necessarily need to stretch out that hand. You can do that and it'll be alright. So you can remove that. He's got a smaller gun there if you want. Like a machine gun or something. Just plug it back in. This way. There is this extra stock. We'll try his left hand, old school acid rain way. Because um, this actually, you can have it so it goes right up against his shoulder. And it'll look more sort of natural. Plus, his helmet suggests he may be missing his right eye. I can't remember if, it's, if that's part of the uh, story or not. You can do the same there. Just fake it with his right hand holding. Yeah, I think this way for a few of them actually looks better than the other way. Remove that. Pop this in. And that works well against his uh, shoulder stroke bicep. Wonder if there'll be an additional weapons pack or maybe one of the other Bucks teams will have a modular rifle. There you go. See, look. I think it looks... What better holding it on this side? His helmet, which is like a you know fits on his face and over the top of his head. An interesting design. Even detail on the inside. That simply plugs into the sides first. Line those. Get that in, and then pop it on. To the top two, securing it there. Bit weird with that angled bit there. Don't know what that's about. So yeah, if he is missing the eye, then it makes more sense if he holds his gun over here. Then he can look down the sights properly, like that. So despite his new gear, you're still able to get Bob in a number of different poses. Although there are a bit of limitations... With his legs, everything still functions. With these feet, you can get him to pose a bit like that, just balance a bit. 
And there's no problems that I've found. It's really all about aesthetics and whether or not you like these new designs compared to the old ones. But I do like the ability to be able to remove this helmet. Not having to swap out the heads. This new head sculpt quite different. But is in line with what we've been getting from Acid Rain recently. We now take a look at one man army. Jack. Jack is back. And we finally get to see what his face looks like underneath that uh, helmet. So that looks like a mark on his right cheek there. Bit of paint come off or something. He's got a scar on his lip. And his bit that goes around his head, as a, uh, my mate Gunner pointed out, does kind of look like Profit from the uh, 90s comic, Rob Liefeld. Looks good though. His head moves around with that neck joint as well, so you can get him to go down like that and up like that. A little bit of tilt. All these details there, the bullets and... All sorts going on. Movement up here. Let's just take a look. So again on the old buck. Because he doesn't have armor bits on the lower part of his torso, he can move around more. Or more so than Bob on the upper part. Take a look at this bit. Although it's the old buck, this lower torso bit is new from what I can gather. As with all new acid rain, no fears of breaking really. You can see that spade sign there slightly weathered though. This arm goes about there, goes around. Bend, twist, everything Bob does basically. So this is a left and right. And this one is down and up when both should really be uh, gun hands, I think. These bits here for his knife, knives. We'll see how that works in a bit. Just storage everywhere for his guns. All these little pouches and attention to Details. Fantastic. Jean Claude! Oh, a bit hindered. Where he keeps his secret weapon. Twist at the thighs. Same knees and boots as Bob. Yeah, legs here. A bit hindered too. Back. Bend at the knee. Left, right, pivot, up, down. So yeah, just like Bob, his uh, new armor doesn't hinder much. Cigarette hands. Love this little uh, add-on. Can move down and up, so it actually has the uh, gun articulation you want. Can it fit the gun? This off. This goes in. And there. Can look cool AF. Smoking a cigarette. Same handgun as Bob. Bob's got. This bit's removable as well. Put it in his hand if you like. Or this one. Yeah, so it does fit in there very nicely. So I might just use this hand. And store that here. Just push it in. 
I'm getting nowhere to put this thing. Another gun. Magnum. All this too. They're both on the uh, new thicker um, hand grip. Looks good though. That can fit in this side holster. Very snug. Two knives so he can cut you up with the more efficiency. That's the premises for that to actually fit in there. It should have just had a holster, a holster bit so it can fit the knife. Um, I understand that they wanted to keep it quite streamlined, but yeah, functionality would have been better, I think, for this. Can fit in, well, yeah, as that stretched out from the new handle, it doesn't really fit in that hand. You have to squeeze it down. This one, however, has not been stretched out as much. So you can still hold it there. And these are the knife less handles that you'll use to give the illusion that he's holstered his knives using these tiny little bits there. Remember, these are tiny, so be careful um, with rigorous play. They fit in nicely, but if you're not careful, you could end up losing them. This shotgun I love. Double barreled. But it looks great. Shout out to Mortimer, who pointed out that it does have a play function. You can do that. Which is awesome. I thought it didn't, because it just looked seamless. For some reason, I was trying it from here. But yeah, just there. And then you can click it back. This fits in his hand. Again, very nicely. So I don't think he has any weapons... No, yeah, he doesn't have any weapons that are kind of the old style, thinner uh, grip. But it fits in better than the old ones. Thankfully, he can store this on his back here. Nice and secure too. We have a couple of pistols here. We also have the same design pistols with either extended mags or mags that are coming out. So as you can see, pretty much the same, just that extended mag bit or the mag that's coming out. They fit in nicely. Again, I love how I, his cigarette hand can also hold them. And these can be stored on here. Look at that. So either extended mags or it could be like he's reloading. And here's his mask, which is kind of like a futuristic version of what he had before. But this, of course, can be removed. This is tiny. So be careful, it just slots in those holes. And yeah, bit of a gappage there so you can see flesh. Very awesome look for Jack. Updated awesome look. We've got guns everywhere, just weapons galore. Kind of get him to do that. So it's primarily just a pistol guy but with a different designs which is really fantastic and it's got that additional shotgun too as with bob his leg kick up is a bit hindered by the front bit of the belt which for jack i think is maybe more of a problem because you would expect him to be a bit more dynamic than bob but you can still get him to, to go into dynamic poses. Just these designs, just so much effort put into the look and what they come with. 
And I love that they've got these new helmets or masks that fit over their, their faces. So you can actually see the character and you don't have to swap out the heads. And the ability to store weapons. Bravo, Acid Rain. Bravo. Let's do some comparisons. So let's see how Bob and Jack look against other figures in 118 scale. So we've got Catwoman and Batman from The Batman from Spin Masters. These figures aren't too great, but my wife got me the set with the uh, car, which I love. The car is awesome. These figures, not so much. Boba Fett, Morak took his helmet off so we could see how he looks against uh, Bob there without his helmet on and they kind of look like they could go together and then we've also got a uh, dark trooper on the right I'll do a video of him he actually looks better against these guys than some of the other 118 scale figures we've got Major Draconis on the left from Fresh Monkey Fiction I think he actually looks quite good with Bob there I have him with my uh, Omanga he's an old dude too and Cable from Marvel Universe he was super tall unnecessarily so next we have Tuxin Shen on the left and Steiner from Joy Toy on the right both brilliant figures uh, some of the best of this year Steiner I think works really well with Bob and Jack Tuxin Shen of course from a, a different era but could still play in this uh, sandbox then we've got Sophie on the left, old style from Ori Toy, who goes with the Bucks team. And Jessie with a my custom Jessie, a few extra bits on her. But Sophie looks like she's got a bigger head, an older head sculpt. And next we've got Nelson on the left, new power armor guy. Uh, his head sculpt looks maybe a bit bigger than Bob from the looks of things. And one of the best figures of the year of uh, 2022 the Abaddon Geists uh, still got to do a video of um, Strength of Ed we've got my Tim here the head sculpt came with uh, the exoskeleton and uh, I've got a body from one of those uh, camera guys and then uh, it's Papalotl on the right with the uh, extra arm bits I got from one of those sets so yeah Acid Rain also and the heads again looking maybe a little bit bigger. So let's take a look at Tim and Bob. As you can see, Tim does look like he's got a bit of a bigger head than than Bob. The slight reduction in head size for these guys makes sense as they do have these helmets, masks you put on. So I can understand why they made that decision. Uh, they do look great still. And I think can still work with any of those figures regardless. But this thing here can actually fit on Bob too if you want to do that. Uh, either the right way up or upside down if you want for whatever reason. But final thoughts. As expected, these two knock it out of the park. Acid Rain makes some of the best 118 figures out there. The downside is costs. Uh, these are getting more and more expensive and really have to be choosy, uh, particular about what I choose. But if they keep doing designs like this, it's going to be hard for me to say no. And I have got the other three coming out uh, this month of November on pre-order. So all three of those will be coming and I'm really looking forward to seeing how they work. Because some of those have got some really awesome play features. These two being the most popular of the Bucks team is a great start. Uh, showing these new designs and uh, the potential for what we can expect from acid rain moving forward in particular the play features like having the ability to store weapons which we've seen from some of the announcements 
of upcoming releases next year with our manga and also the ability to be able to remove masks put them on love all that stuff so it is going to be very hard to say no to uh, uh the upcoming releases just the prices guys come on we'll bring those down a bit anyway if you like this video like comment subscribe check out the rest of the content on the channel a few affiliate links you can check out too and I'll scale you later.